YouTube. This is Mason Vaughn with MBJD Productions. Today I'm going to show you how to make sure you get Cody on any Amazon Fire TV or Fire Stick. In case you got one on sale on Black Friday, something like that. Um, it's pretty easy. You don't have to be rooted. It does not have to. Um, all you need is this ES File Explorer, which is a very common app if you're an Android user. Um, and to get that, you, all you gotta do is get it off the Amazon store. So you just go over here and search it pretty much. So you do E S. Go down. Over apps. There it is. E S File Explorer. Oops, very bright. Sorry about that. And with this, what I did was, easiest way for me, ah, okay. but yeah, the easiest way for me, I went into favorite, add, and then I did the, just added the source for Cody H T T P. Sorry about that. Forward slash, forward slash, and then you just do, you know, Cody.tv. So K O D. I actually hit L at one point because I wasn't paying any attention, so be careful for that L. It's just a alphabetical keyboard, so. I'm sure you can change it very easily. Dot TV. Next, and you put the name Cody. But since I've already done it, I'm not going to continue with that. So when I did that, as you can see, I have Cody in the very corner there. So you go to Cody. It loads the website. You go over to Downloads. From, oh, sorry, you might go out of focus. From downloads, you go down to Android. I don't know if you can see that at all, but you go down to Android, you click ARM. Um, since I already have it downloaded, I'll just cancel it. But when you, here, I'll. I'll just redo it. It's gonna tell me. So download. Sorry, let me fix this up. And I'm using the 15.2 Isengard version. This is just gonna. What this does, it downloads the APK uh, from the website, and this is pretty much just making it where you don't have to root. So with this, you can go and search on some of those APK websites and you can get any APK without rooting the deal. So what I, you press is open file and you go down and press install. Since I already have it installed, I'm not going to do it again, but you press install. Cancel. And after it's installed, it's going to ask you if you want to open it or not. I did not. But don't believe it'll appear on your app screen at all. Can double check, but don't believe so. I think you gotta go into your actual manage apps section. Yeah. So when you go to applications, manage installed apps, Cody, you just installed it, to launch application. Yeah, and this is on version four, uh, five. No, what is it on? Version five four point one point one point zero, and I can prove it after this. 
But yeah, this is the easiest way. You don't need to root it anymore to get Cody. It's just silly, but as you can see, I have the TV add-ons already added. Which, if you're not, if you're new to Cody, I'll, I'll show you real quick how to do that. Go to File Manager, Add Source, type in uh, H T T P. Forward slash, forward slash. You, yeah, you go. Fusion. Dot. T. V. Add ons. Hope this is picking this all up. Sorry, I'm kind of not looking at my camera, so I hope this is. Dot A G. Make sure you don't put dot com, put A G. Go down here and call it, I called it Fusion. And then after that, since I already did it, you'll see a side thing come up here, Fusion. Um, and then you go into Programs. Oh, sorry, you don't go into Programs. You go into just the system. Go down to Add-ons. Go to Install from Zip File. And you'll see Fusion sitting here. Click it. It says Start here. Um, I start with the Video Wizard. And then I click the Fresh Start. You gotta keep, because every time you click on it, it, it exit out, it's like, it goes that, and you have to go back into it, start here, and then I do the fresh start, and it does that again, you know, and then you do the program add-on installer, so, what I did, oop, sorry, I accidentally clicked the home button, because I am not paying attention, so, let me relaunch that, sorry about that. Get back. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. See. And then it'll be right there, pretty much. Then you go back, back, programs, uh, program add-ons, and then it'll show just fresh start, config with config wizard and add-on installer, I believe. You click on configure config wizard, and then you go to Fire TV. You click that, does this whole thing. Um, here, I'll just go ahead and do it again because it's fun. But yeah, it does this little deal where it's like configures through the what you're running it on, which I'm running it on Amazon Fire version 5.4.1.1, which this works on every single update. So unless or for some reason stop or for some reason stops letting you do it. It will let you do it. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of showing you in case you didn't know. Sorry, people do know. I just wanted to know how to get it on the new Fire Stick. If you got it for, I will tell you. You can get the one with the regular remote like that for $24.99 for the stick, or you can get the one with the rem with the talk for. Thirty-four ninety-nine, and this still still going on for Cyber Monday as well. And then you can get the Amazon Fire TV for seventy-four ninety-nine right now, which I thought was a pretty good price and as well. But I decided to just get the stick for now because it's not for me. Um, maybe I'll get a TV later because four K, and I got a four K TV, so I'm gonna do this. And reload like that. And you have stuff all here like Genesis. And yeah. That's how you do it. And then that makes it watch movies and stuff like that. And let me go back 
home just to reveal, just to prove to you. And as you can see, it's version 5.4.1.0 or 0.1.1.0, um, and it's letting me run the Kodi app. So, again, uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope that was easy enough for you. Um, hope you got the whole gist of the idea. And if you liked it, please um, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you already knew this, cool. It's been pretty easy to do for a long time. Just tell me pretty much anything if you watch this video. Um, so, thanks for watching, and bye.